Hey, peoples, it's I, Schuster, has joined the Schuster, the Schuster, the Schuster. Um, oh, you, you there, give me your coins. Hey, hey, not down there. Yeah, in the previous one, we finished up Stove Canyon, and in this one, we'll get rich off of these guys. Um, can you fly away now? Thanks. I'm sort of on a timer, so you gotta hurry up with your little cycle, birdie. Birdie. There we go. Give me your monies! Oh, okay, that makes things a lot easier. Are you serious, game? Of course it would do that. Um, where's the birdie? Oh, I need him to respawn. Or her. Don't know its gender. Gender. I mean, like, I'm sorry women have to fail their gender test. I mean, after all, they get an F in that category. Just saying. I mean, like, it's nothing bad, right? I mean, actually, it kind of is. Well, I'm sorry for those who fail their gender test for having an F in that. <laughs> Go up these ladders. And, um, we should be getting close to either a secret exit or a treasure spot. I don't remember which one it is, to be honest. Um, we have bathing, which you... Uh, surprisingly, those little plants don't get crushed by it. But they can eat something bigger than their body weight. So, um, yeah. Oh, this is definitely, a uh, key one. I kind of remember this pretty well. Uh, yeah, you can't actually get coins by knocking these out. So, yeah, um, I think it's this one. Of course, it would make you go all the way to the end just for this key. Alright, go up here. Go up there. And, uh, the switch should enable water. Which allows us to rise up here, which we couldn't do before. And we get when we get up here... We can jump over here and grab a key, which is in one of these little happy boxes, which are now mad. I mean, like, these guys are, like, bipolar. And now that the water's gone, this should make it a little bit faster for this to come down. How does the water... Wait, the key's floating in the air while I'm falling. Um, how does the water drain and rise so fast the moment we hit the switch? That's what I want to know. Science, I guess. Uh, throw the key. Come on, I'm trying to look cool. Game, I'm trying to look cool. Fine, I'll just do it the normal way. Alright, um, put this dagger thing in our treasure, which Wario is holding by the blade. I mean, it's not like cutting his fingers open or anything. Alright, um, let's go break these. Nope. Okay, so now, um, we gotta go back to where we were. And that should take, like, two seconds, really. And I did not want, uh, Dragon Wario, but I guess I'll take it. But I'll replace it as soon as I can. It really is obnoxious. Um, okay. Oh, hey, yeah, I replaced it. Uh, okay, we have these alligator things. So they pretty much got got us these, um, power, this power-up, which is really just a trap, I suppose, because if you get to, um, if you move, like, above them, and if they see you, they'll just lunge up and bite. Which, if you do what I'm doing, I'm just waiting till they lunge up, and then when they lunge up, I just attack them. That's how they work, really. Alright, um, 152, that's pretty good, if I say, do say so myself. And we have, like, six treasures left? So if it's any indication, we're already, like, halfway for the game. I'm not very familiar where the treasure places are in this world, but, um, I'll do what I can. 
You just do that to get rid of those harpoon fools. And in order to get that other one, you need a dragon warrior thing, which I did replace. Sorry about that, um, there's something in my throat, it was weird. Don't ask me what it was. Uh, yeah, you can attack them from above or below. I would recommend attacking them from the side because they can just turn around and then just impale you with their thing. And I um, don't think I'm going to get that Dragon Warrior thing. Actually, no, I'm not. It would be pretty helpful at this spot right here. Uh, I'm not going to get that for obvious reasons. Well, I mean obvious reasons, I mean this reason. Uh, yeah, I'll just attack them from underneath. I wonder how that can kill enemies just touching them with your head. I mean, that kind of doesn't make sense in this game. I mean, that, uh, like, dropping on an enemy, I guess I can understand. Alright, give me more of your monies. And if you have, um, the, the bulb Wario pot, you can actually, um, cling onto the ceiling and go through here. But I didn't, but you can use Jet Wario, as you can see. Instead, and do that. There's 100 right there. And I'm not going to bother wasting my 100 on that little thing. Man, I don't make Wario games like this before. I mean, they, they make Wario uh, Land Shake It, which was pretty good, actually. Um, there wasn't really much, there isn't much throwing in this game, and as you guys can really see, and compared to the other Wario Land games. I mean, I like the throwing thing. It's a good thing for Wario, because he's powerful, and I don't really feel like getting whatever's in there, which is, I believe it's a heart. Um, like this one. And let me kill you. And, uh, I want whatever's in there, to be honest. Wow, game! You're mean. Uh, let's get rid of these guys. And as you can see, this kind of looks does look like a repeat. How do I get out? Dude, how do I get out? Oh, okay. This kind of does look like a repeat from the very first world in Rice Beach. But, uh, it, it, it kind of is different, I suppose. Dude, you're being annoying. Let me throw money here. Don't ask me what that was. Um, let's go to the right and get our 149 coins. Man, these treasure people, the tolls, must get a lot of income. <laughs> From how much we're paying them. I mean, like, how many courses have we done by now? About 28. And say, um, we didn't have to pay for, like, 5 levels. So pretty much, we already donated, like, 230 coins. And that's quite a bit. Um, yeah, I'll just take it for this level. Because you can actually burn watches, if you didn't already guess. And that's actually really helpful in this level. And it's, But it's really obnoxious. Oh, God. As soon as I, um, try to attack a watch, it actually kills, I mean, it murderizes my, um, thing. And now I can't get in whatever is in here, which I might as well commit suicide, because what if it's a secret or an exit? Alright, we're back. Let's go see what's in this door. Oh, okay, we have this again, which should cause a ladder. And, yeah. Hmm. You still would want to, um, explore what's below you, because there's, you might miss some coins in there. And some of you are going to be like, who cares if I have coins? But still, you should do it, in case you're a little short from getting the best ending. Um, Jet Wario looks tempting, but I'm going to keep Dragon Wario for now. It really does look tempting, because I actually do want it right now, and I put it on caps lock, because I'm using an emulator. Yeah, okay, so you kind of wouldn't want to stick with Dragon War, because it's just easier to break these pots. Um, 
Not these pots, but these blocks. Blocks and pots are two separate things, Schuster. Get them right. Okay, you definitely don't want, um, your full Wario power-up right now. Because, really, it's kind of dangerous with all these watches. Because watches are way more dangerous than they look. In fact, I think pretty much any aerial enemy, or, um, any jumping enemies, are really just a bunch of jerks. Because really, if you think about it, like, I always get hit by them. They're kind of unpredictable. They're predictable. Well, they're unpredictable and predictable at the same time, if you know what I mean. Alright, um, let's go get our monies. Alright, um, I I don't think we can finish SST Cup in the next episode, because there probably is a secret level. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Thank you all for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.